സിറാജ് ലൈവിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ നൊമ്പരമാണ് ഗസ ഇന്ന് അനുദിനം ഇസ്രായേലിൻ്റെ ക്രൂരമായ ആക്രമണത്തിൽ ആയിരക്കണക്കിന് കുട്ടികൾ മരിച്ചു വീഴുന്നു നിസ്സഹായരായ കുറേ മനുഷ്യർ മരിച്ചു വീഴുന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞ ഏഴ് മാസമായി ഈ അടുത്ത കാലത്തുണ്ടായ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ യുദ്ധം ആക്രമണം ഗസയിൽ ഫലസ്തീൻ്റെ മണ്ണിൽ നടക്കുകയാണ് അന്താരാഷ്ട്ര മാധ്യമങ്ങൾ വഴിയുള്ള വാർത്തകൾ നമ്മൾ എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും കാണുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ ഗസയിൽ യഥാർത്ഥത്തിൽ ഇപ്പോൾ നടക്കുന്നത് എന്താണെന്ന് അറിയാൻ ഇന്ന് ഈ പ്രത്യേക ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂവിൽ നമുക്കൊപ്പം ചേരുകയാണ് ഫലസ്തീൻ്റെ ഇന്ത്യയിലെ അംബാസഡർ അദ്നാൻ അബുൽ ഹൈജ നമുക്ക് അദ്ദേഹത്തോട് വിശദമായി എന്താണ് ഫലസ്തീനിൽ നടക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് അവിടുത്തെ കണ്ടീഷൻ എന്ന് വിശദമായിട്ട് ചോദിക്കാം സർ വാം വെൽക്കം ടു ദിസ് ഇൻ്റർവ്യൂ ബിഫോർ ഗോയിങ് ടു അവർ മെയിൻ ഇഷ്യൂ ലെറ്റ് മീ ആസ്ക് യു അനദർ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ യു ജസ്റ്റ് മെറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഗ്രാൻഡ് മുഫ്തി ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ഹി ഈസ് എൻ അംബാസഡർ ഓഫ് ഹാർമണി ആൻഡ് പീസ് ഇസ് എ വെരി വെൽ നോൺ ഫിഗർ ഹൗ വാസ് ദ മീറ്റിംഗ് let me say that um uh, in india ambassador to palestine uh, to india and india to me is the second home mm. when i come to air to kerala mm. i feel i'm at home mm. and it is very important to me when i'm in kerala mm. to see this great man yeah mufti uh, abu bakr ahmed uh. it is very important to me Uh, he is a real uh, man who has a real attitudes a humanitarian mainly Good. against uh, the israelis and their crimes mm. and he always explain from a humanitarian mm. side also mm. what's going on in palestine right and what the palestinian people are facing of this occupation mm. uh, so it is very important to me mm. to meet uh, uh, this great man Abu Bakr Ahmed mm. and discuss with him some matter and uh, let him know also more I know he is following daily but if there is any more details I'm uh, it's very important to me to let him know that mm, okay okay let us uh, come to the issue uh, we are always uh, receiving the news through international media on gaza issue international media gives a wide reporting but there may be a chance for biasing a chance for false information etc now we are very lucky to get you because uh, we will get the first hand information from palestine what is the current humanitarian situation uh in uh, palestine especially in gaza west uh, west bank now also it has widened to rafa also yani let me say that uh, it seemed to be that 7th 7th of october was yeah. important yeah very good for the people to know what the palestinian people are facing of this enemy hmm. we have seen in gaza only more than 3000 massacres mm. led to the killing of 35000 yeah uh, people uh, civilian people mm. uh, 70% of them mm. are children mm. and others are women and old people mm. we have not seen uh, killing of hamas fighter fighters as an example mm. we have seen the demolition of the people homes we are talking about more than 30000 35000 people who are registered mm. in uh, the registry that have been killed mm. but there is more than 10000 also mm. under the rebels mm. right or detained by the israelis and the israelis refuse to give mm. the red cross the if they ha- who are the detainees mm. with the israeli army yeah so we have seen part of the massacre seven mm. uh, collective cemeteries mm. in a three hospitals mm. i think it was very clear for the people mm. how the israelis mm. are kill the palestinian and put them in collective cemetery 
سيمتري uh, without any respect to the body some of them have lost some organs of their bodies mm. and some of them were skinless mm -hmm. they take skin of those people mm. this is what we are facing of uh, the Israeli army now when we go to Rafah mm. Rafah normally uh, people is 200,000 1.5 million yeah. are in Rafah now, mm, mm, mm. which it means uh, eight times mm. of Rafah. Most of them are living in uh, refugee camps, in yeah. tents, mm, mm. in very bad situation. No food, no water, no electricity, uh, no hospitals, no medicine. No. Uh, so because of that, I said uh, it was very important to the people all around the world mm. to see what the Palestinian people facing mm. for 76 years up mm. to now yeah. of this enemy mm. who occupied their land and doing hard to evacuate people from Gaza to Egypt and from Jordan, mm. from West Bank to Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, the situation in West Bank it is also very bad. Yeah. Every day the Israelis attack mm. the refugee camps, mm. the uh, Palestinian towns, cities, killing people, uh, destroying the infra infrastructure of uh, these towns or cities. Mm. So the, in West Bank and East Jerusalem, much worse also. Uh, we have noticed yesterday that they tried within two days to burn the stores of uh, UNRWA, mm. right? And because of that, UNRWA uh, closed mm. their stores in Egypt. Person Jerusalem. situation is very pathetic. Am I correct? Sorry? Person situation is very pathetic. Am I correct? Yeah, it is. Mm. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah, in Palestine, this is the situation with this enemy because they don't recognize uh, any uh, right to the Palestinian people to live in their homeland. We have accepted 22% mm. of historical Palestine when we said the state of Palestine in West Bank, E Jerusalem, and Gaza, it's not more than 22% of our rights. Mm. Mm -hmm. Our right is all Palestine, yeah, yeah, from yeah. the river to the sea. An independent right. nation. Yes, uh. yes, this is Palestine, uh, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. Mm. Uh, they established Israel in 78% mm. of our rights, mm. and we accepted to establish the state of Palestine in 22% only, and they are refusing mm. and doing all that killing. Mm -hmm. How do you evaluate the courage of Palestinian people? And, uh, the Palestinian people, I think, uh, they are brave people, mm. and this has come from God. Right, mm. because uh, it's written in, in Quran, mm. Kareem, mm. that in uh, شَعْبٌ جَبَّارِينَ فَإِذْهَبْ أَنْتَ وَرَبُّكَ فَقَاتِلَا إِنَّهَا هُنَا قَاعِدُونَ وَبِالتَّالِي هَذِهِ مَنْحَا I'm sorry, start speaking Arabic. Uh, no, no, sure. Uh, uh, this is most preferable. Uh. Yes. Uh, I mean, I mean, the Palestinian people, alhamdulillah, mm. are brave people, are ready for sacrifice, mm. especially when it comes to their dignity, mm. when it comes to Al-Aqsa, mm. when it comes to their land. This is very important for the Palestinian people, and there is no limit to their sacrifice mm. for their liberty for dignity mm. for to defend Al-Aqsa and defend their land. Okay. How do you uh, assess the effectiveness of international aids, uh, uh, I mean uh, the medical aid, etc., in addressing the needs of Palestinian people? Look, I think we are satisfied with the what's going on uh, during the war for the people of Gaza. But these uh, AIDS are still in the stores in Egypt. Mm. 
because the Israelis did not allow this humanitarian aid to enter mm. to the people. And recently, they have closed Rafah border. Mm. Rafah border is the most important border for people, mm. if it's for assistance mm. or for injured people to go out and get medical treatment mm. for some other specialist doctors who enter mm. to Gaza because they have killed very high number of the medical team in general. Many doctors. hospitals uh, dramatically uh, were washed out. All our hospitals, they don't work. Some of them, like Shifa, it's not working at all. It is the biggest hospital in Palestine, not in Gaza. Yeah. In Palestine, Shifa. Now it's not working. Uh, we used to have in Gaza about 35 Mm. Now, less than four are working in, mm. in uh, Gaza Strip. But also, there is no medicine. There is no doctors, because they assassinate doctors, mm. right? Like uh, Dr. Al-Bursh, uh, they detain him, mm. then they kill him under, while they are torturing him to get information. Mm. What they can get information of the doctor, I don't know. Mm. But at the end, they torture him till he dies. Yeah, then yeah. they threw his body mm. not far from a Shifa hospital. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, here is, a, we have a uh, United Nations. A United Nations can take serious steps in this uh, condition. A uh, few days ago, there, there was a resolution uh, for a Palestinian nation, Palestine, to recognize Palestine as a member. It was passed by uh, 143 votes to nine. Do you see uh, this an effective move? Let me say that we have more than 800 resolution between Security Council and uh, uh, General Assembly hmm. resolutions. Hmm. But Israel has never been implemented to only one resolution. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because it's supported by the United States and the Western mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. If any other country we have noticed Iraq, we have noticed even India, yeah. where they uh, make their atomic bomb, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, and India is a great country, yeah, yeah. more than the United States, five times at yeah, least, yeah. right? Uh, what do you really expect from India? Let me uh, continue that question yeah, okay, first, yes. right? Uh, so the United Nations is very important for the Palestinian people. Mm. I remember, and I take it as a joke, mm. right? This resolution? No, not ah, this. Yeah. Similar. Ah, yeah, okay. When the uh, war of Ukraine started, I remember the Security Council, mm. there was a meeting. So the Chinese and the Russian used the veto. Mm. The ambassador of the United States said, now we'll go to the General Assembly. <laughs> I said they became like Palestinian. Yeah. Because when we fail at the Security Council because of the American veto, ah, veto. we go to the General ah, Assembly. Uh -huh. now, they know that. Yes. Uh -huh. So I start laugh because I said that the United States became like Palestinian. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fail in the Security Council. Council uh. Right? So they so went US to the... They use their veto power also. Yeah. They, at least they uh, recognize that the General Assembly is important. Mm, mm. And we have hundreds of mm. resolutions. Yeah, yeah. The last one is very important. Why? Mm. First of all, it's not 143. Mm. Yeah. This is uh. what we get in this session. Uh. But there is 16 votes. They don't have the fee. They are not paying the fees mm. to the United Nations. So they don't have the right mm. to vote. Yeah. So we have other votes, uh, uh. right, uh. from those people who did not pay, from those 16 people. Uh. So at least we have 150. Uh -huh. Israel. They uh, don't have recognition of yeah. 160, yeah, okay. uh, 50, uh, uh, uh. right? So, and we are expecting Ireland, mm. Spain, Belgium, mm. and Slovenia mm -hmm. within two months to recognize the state of Palestine. Yeah, okay. This is very important. Mm. 
About the second question of India. Mm. Look, India is very important country for the Palestinian people. India was the first non-Arab country who recognized the PLO. And it was uh, the first non-Arab country to recognize the state of Palestine. Mm. We rely on India always uh, to be, to support the struggle of Palestine. I think during the war, we have seen, heard from Mr. Shankar mm -hmm. uh, more than one speak, uh, insist. Foreign minister. Yeah, foreign the foreign minister. Foreign minister. Yeah. Sure, sure. There is no two. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To me, when I talk <laughs> as Shankar. ambassador, yes, he is Mr. J. Shankar, His Excellency Mr. Yeah, J. Yeah. Shankar. Uh, uh, who insists for the two-state solution because ah. the Israelis uh, ignore ah. the right of Palestine, the ah. Palestinian people, ah. especially with this extreme government mm. led by Netanyahu mm. and uh, member the uh, security minister Ben Ghafir or the financial minister mm. uh, Smotrich. So we are facing one of the most extreme government mm. uh, during uh, the history of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we can understand one thing. The military uh, remedy is not possible. Uh, more about that, uh, a strong diplomatic pressure also very weak. In this situation, there is a wide call for boycott, divestment, sanctions in Israel. What's your opinion? I think... First of all, I would like to thank South Africa also for their, for their, uh, their attitudes, mm. right? And this organization, BDS, mm. has From been BDS, established yeah. ah. in South Africa. Mm. Ah, okay. And I was member to Mozambique where I was also ah. meet them from time to time. And they used to come to Mozambique and we met more than one event together. I think if any other country uh. do 10% of the crimes of Israel, uh. what you have mentioned, uh. right? Uh, uh, okay. The yeah. BDS. We are using their products time, in many fields. Yes, mm. uh, Israel should be seized, mm. right? Mm. Should be should be sanctioned. Mm. Israel a criminal uh, government, mm. right? So just because the interest of the United States to keep this military base mm. mainly, mm. because mm. Israel is not normal mm. country. Yeah. Israel, by origin, it's a military base. They make a country mm. around it called Israel, mm. right? And on the 7th of October, we have noticed that when they feel mm. that this military base became in danger, all of them have come running, mm -hmm. sent their uh, uh, aircraft carrier, mm. uh, sent uh, Mr. Biden, uh, yeah, yeah. Sonak, uh, uh, Miloni, uh, Schultz, ah. uh, uh, France uh, president, mm. all of them have come mm -hmm. to Israel. Mm, mm, mm. Why? Because they felt that uh, if the military base became weak, mm. right, people will leave. Yeah, okay. They are coming because they feel that they are defended by this military base, mm, mm. right? Uh, do you expect a BDS movement from India? I think they, we have here, mm. we have, يعني, uh, from the people of India, I think should uh, this organization is very active in the Western country. It's very active in the United States. And uh, I know, I met the lady who is responsible for BDS in India. Mm -hmm. Hope uh, we will meet again and hope she will be more active in India, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially between the students and youth. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. In the light of recent events, uh, what measures are being taken to protect Palestinian civilians, particularly children from violence and displacement? We have know that around 13,000 children 
uh, lost their lives in the recent uh, issues. It is a very heartbreaking situation. Uh, what are the measures being taken to protect these people? And I think it's important uh, of the world, right? The, uh, from the international community hmm. to take an action, not only uh, resolutions in the United Nations. This resolution should be implemented by the Israelis. And I think our president, Mahmoud Abbas, had called many times for the protection of the Palestinian people, mm -hmm. even before this war, because the crimes of the Israelis are, was always against the Palestinian people mm -hmm. in West Bank and in Gaza. Mm -hmm. uh, hope the international community will take an action mm -hmm. to stop this criminal government of its crimes, right, and to be sanctioned as you mean said. international community can do anything in uh, Palestine? They should do. Mm. They should do. Start yeah. from the United States itself who defend the Israel, mm -hmm. Israel and the Western countries. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to the uh, other countries, mm. uh, all around the world, the African, the Asian, East Asia, uh, Latin American, mm. uh, all of them, are with the Palestinian people with the, uh, against the crimes of the Israelis. Yeah, okay. Right? Yes. But Israel is defended by the United States and yeah. some other Western countries. Yeah, okay. How do you view the role of grassroots movements and civil society organizations in advancing Palestine cause, both uh, domestically and internationally, especially in universities of uh, United States, uh, across, uh, across United States and European countries, uh, also witnessing a very good protest there? How do you evaluate uh, these protests and gra grassroots movements? Look, uh, the Zionists in general used to control the media. Hmm. Now, I think we are lucky with the social media. Yeah. We are very lucky as a Palestinian people and any other people who has just cause, hmm. right, if it reached to the social media. After social media, they know media can hide out anything. They can't lie hmm. as they used to do. They can't hide hmm. uh, things and the crimes as they used to do. Mm. Now it's easy. This mobile, mm. make the photo, mm. and the uh, social media mm. is everywhere. And alhamdulillah that the youth people uh -huh. are very active uh -huh. with that. So this is became very important, mm. and they force uh -huh. the official media uh -huh. to change their typical attitudes, mm. right, which they used to hide when they uh, want to hide uh, this subject or this subject. Now, it is very important. I think uh, Colombia uh -huh. students who they have started mm. the uh, demonstrations against the war in Vietnam, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And uh, in the United States, more than 80 mm. uh, universities mm. are demonstrating. Mm -hmm. In uh, Britain, mm. Oxford, Cambridge, mm. uh, I think all uh, the universities of uh, Scotland, mm. many universities in France. Mm. So the youth is very important. The mm. students is very important movement. And I, uh, have come from this background, by yeah. the way. Uh -huh. I used to be uh -huh. uh, president of the Palestinian student in yeah, Lebanon good, uh. and member of the executive co yeah. committee okay, okay. of GAPS General Union of Palestine uh -huh. okay. So I love this nah. sector of the people. Yeah. Yeah. Lastly, uh, I am coming to the uh, concluding question. What are your hopes and expectations for the future Palestine? What steps you believe to necessary to achieve your goal, the, uh, the, uh, the Palestine nation goal? Look, I think we have noticed that the Palestinians are struggling for more than a century now. 
since the British have come to Palestine, mm. and at that time we have heard mm. about Balfour Declaration, mm. we are struggling mm. at the beginning against the British themselves, mm. army, and later against mm. the Zionist movement mm. and the Israelis. Mm. So the Palestinians will never uh, stop their struggle. Mm. Till they get their right. Mm. And if anyone thought or think that he, uh, the Palestinian people, mm. will raise a white flag, I think they are dreaming mm -hmm. and they don't know the nature of the Palestinian people. Yeah. We are a people of pain. Mm. We are a people who insist to get their right. We have the right to live like any other people mm. in the world. Mm. Think our children has the right to live like any other mm. children in the world. Mm. So we call mm. the world mm. to take action mm. against this occupation, mm. right? Mm. And to live in peace mm. uh, in this mm. a very important area. Mm. Uh, we are not looking for this war. Mm. to expand, mm. we are looking for peace, mm. and at the end we will get it, inshallah. Okay, let me conclude here. I am very thankful to you for thank sharing you this much. valuable information from your Th side. Thank you very much. I'm also Thanks, thanking uh, Mr. Uh, Amin Sakafi. Uh, you, are, you are connected with the Indo-Asian Arab mission. Again, in India, I want to thank you for the Indo-Arab mission. Our Indo-Arab mission, our Indo-Arab mission, our Indo-Arab mission, our Indo-Arab mission, India itu audio juga dalam bad ambassador baru ni tu boleh. Negeri tetapi ni Palestina ni boleh mana. Ippadum Palestina ni boleh Maya audio juga sami pun ada mana. Karena di isu itu, nama kita India rajum segera cutu. Adanya adanya specialai nanti ipolun dia agak pergi. Ipo Bidaya secara asrama itu kampus itu kan teri kerjici, pudih itu prakshwa beridi, samara beridi, undai itu rendah. Aduh, isu ini pudih itu beridi teri usah tikuman nanu, ente itu rendah dikshan. Anggennya, aduh, nama daya rajut, berar beridi itu kampus itu lundai itu rendah kiri. Aduh, ini orang aikida ada perkaya bici orang. Students um, youth um, ini orang tu orang tu orang. Sekarang macam itu beri kita ni kalau di India ni tu valiru mana macam itu maru. Um, logat tu macam itu valiru jenazah ni ular raja mana ular ni leil. Anjara astra dalat itu ular. Sradhe macam itu mana macam itu. Falan je ian sahaja dah valar kuar dulu mana macam itu macam itu. Ah. Ini ada. Okay, nak kita awas ni pikan. Apol Gaza ini lestih di bishesh anggal ana. Abah sader, nama lor dah bishudha macam itu samsaari cedok. Gaza ini lestih di bishesh am adi iwa dayniyam tanne ana. Adham, nama lor do unni parani parani tulak kariam. International community kani kari til kriti macam itu dekiri cian kari iya ina dana. International community uda bagat dana naga dana pressure, abr dada samaradam abr dada battle. Adu dana ana Palestine rastram ena sopnam tila kawar ketan sahai. Kenda ilum, angin yoru nanme yula puleri kana nabo ke bahagia unda gatte ena parani unda. I pratyaga interview uda basani kendo. Waytonikah.com, the exclusive Muslim matrimonial site.